Understanding Social Context in English Language Learning Hello and welcome, language explorers. Today, we're going to be delving into a fascinating part of language learning that often gets overlooked, social context. It's not just about what words mean, but how they're used, where they're used, and who uses them. This is the essence of social context. Social context refers to the circumstances or settings in which we use language. These settings could include factors like the place, the people involved, their relationships, and the broader culture. Social context is crucial to understanding conversations, storytelling, and jokes. It helps us decode meaning beyond the words themselves. To illustrate this, Let's use an example. Imagine hearing the word, mate, in two different situations. One during a rugby match in England, and another at a wildlife reserve in Australia. In the first context, mate, would refer to a friend or companion. But in the second context, mate, could refer to animal pairing during breeding season. The same word, different social contexts, completely different meanings. When it comes to storytelling and jokes, social context becomes even more critical. Have you ever heard a joke but didn't understand why it was funny? That's probably because you're missing some of the social context. Understanding the situation, the culture, or the history can change something from nonsensical to hilarious. Let's take a classic joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. This is funny or at least supposed to be, in English-speaking cultures because it's an anti-joke. The listener expects a clever or funny reason, but the answer is simply literal, defying the expected joke pattern. Understanding this social context makes the joke make sense. So, how do we learn about social context? There are many ways. You can immerse yourself in the culture, listen to native speakers, watch films or series from English-speaking countries, and even read books or newspapers in English. Be curious, ask questions, and always be open to learning about new social and cultural norms. As you can see, understanding the social context is a critical part of mastering the English language, especially for storytelling and joke-telling. It's not just about the words, but the world in which they're used. Keep this in mind as you continue your English learning journey. Remember, every word is an adventure, and every conversation is an opportunity to learn. Happy exploring!